Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says the opposition is making a big deal out of the revolutionary government issue. Roque says while pro-Duterte groups staging rallies in support of a revolutionary government are doing so to express solidarity with the president, the opposition is using the rallies to stoke anger against the administration. He says, quote, The issue of revolutionary government, I think it's the last issue that the opposition can use against the president. Roque adds, quote, To the opposition, look for another issue. Roque points out that as of noontime on Bonifacio Day, Duterte had not declared a revolutionary government, supposed proof that the fears of the opposition are unfounded. Duterte is spending Bonifacio Day in Mindanao after choosing to skip commemorative rites in Caloocan City. Duterte earlier said he would prefer declaring a revolutionary government to declaring martial law since it would supposedly be an easier way to replace corrupt officials and overhaul the government. He also said declaring a revolutionary government is an option if destabilization efforts against him escalate. Davao City Representative Carlo Nograles says he was surprised by the huge differences in the House and Senate's proposed 2018 budgets, particularly with a 50.7 billion peso cut for public works projects. But I would presume that these are DPWH continuing projects. Nograles adds the budget cuts will affect the Build, Build, Build program of President Rodrigo Duterte. Build, Build, Build is the Duterte administration catchphrase for its massive infrastructure program. So pag pinutol nila yung Build, Build, Build program ng Presidente, at uh, ibig ba sabihin nito is hindi sila sangayon at supportive sa Build, Build, Build program ng Presidente? Nogales also denies Senator Panfilo Lacson's insinuations that congressmen were alarmed because the budget cuts affected their pet projects. He insists the projects were DPWH projects, not the legislators. A joint military and police team on Tuesday arrests an Abu Sayyaf member with a 1.3 million peso bounty on his head. Joint Task Force Basilan and the police arrest Rahim Abdul, also known as Aman Kabalu, in Isabella City, Basilan. A fragmentation grenade is also seized from Abdul. Western Mindanao Command Chief Carlito Galvez Jr. says Abdul is a notorious bomber. The much-awaited official trailer for Avengers Infinity War is released Wednesday. The trailer shows doom and gloom on a massive scale as the film's villain Thanos, voiced by Josh Brolin, wreaks havoc on Earth. Coming together to give humankind their best chance at survival are all the iconic Avengers Marvel introduced over the past several years. Iron Man played by Robert Downey Jr., Thor played by Chris Hemsworth, Captain America played by Chris Evans, Spider-Man played by Tom Holland, Hulk played by Mark Ruffalo, Black Widow played by Scarlett Johansson, and even everyone's favorite anti-hero Loki played by Tom Hiddleston. Avengers Infinity War is set for release next May. The United States on Wednesday warned North Korea's leadership will be utterly destroyed if war breaks out as it called on countries to cut all diplomatic and trade ties with Pyongyang. The U.S.'s warning comes after North Korea conducted another missile test Wednesday. Washington urges tough action at an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley says, quote, The dictator of North Korea made a choice yesterday that brings the world closer to war, not farther from it. Haley adds, quote, if war comes, make no mistake, the North Korean regime will be utterly destroyed. Mm-hmm.